What is up, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube? Welcome back to Stone Mountain Barbecue. I'm Jason, and it's a pleasure to have you. Thanks for stopping in. I just got off of work, and um, I'm hungry. So, I need to cook something, and I haven't done a video yet this week, because tonight's Monday, and it's the first day of work, and I look miserable, the beard's all out of shape, my hair's all messed up. What am I going to cook? Well, something quick and easy that you can throw on the grill as soon as you get home, and it's going to be delicious. We're talking about chicken wings. Y'all stick with me. We'll see what we can do. All right, guys, literally everything you're going to need is right here. Uh, I'm going to be using some Caribbean Q seasonings. I'm going to be using the Calypso Kick and a little bit of the Chicken Rub Signature Series. You can use whatever you want, but that's what I like. It's quick, it's easy, simple, and that's what we're doing. First thing I'm going to do is going to take a little bit of this parquet, and I'm just going to spray it over these. Now listen, these are like the ugliest chicken drumsticks or drumettes that I've ever seen. Whoever cut these up and packaged them, well, they butchered them, and that's not a good thing. Um, I'm going to be using some of this uh, Best of the West all-natural smoking chunks. Mesquite. It says mesquite adds a sweeter flavor. Burns hot. Great for most meats, especially beef and most vegetables. Well, we're using it on chicken, so that's what we're doing. But we are going to take this butter and we're just going to hit the skins on this chicken. Make sure you get them all. Yeah, everybody likes a little butter. So we're going to use that as a binder, but then we're also going to use it kind of as a baste as we go throughout the cook. Now I'm going to be cooking on the Weber kettle and uh, we're going to have the slow and sear going get these things nice and seasoned up and we're going to be going pretty hot and fast get out, there we go I'm only going to be doing one side of these because the meat's on the other side I don't know, I may, I may flip them and put some on there, I don't know Probably going to do skin side down when I take them out there. But um, that's pretty much it. Super quick, super simple. It's not hard to do. You want to keep your temperature up there in the 275, 300 range. Throw some smoke on them. Get that skin crispy. And then we're going to eat them. So let's get out to the pit. It should be fired up and going now. Throw some chunks on here and get some chicken on here. So we're out here in the yard. We've got the Weber going. It's... Uh, smoking away churning away here and as you can see guys this yard is a mess we've had some really bad weather here the last few weeks the last few days at least and the wind and everything so that's kind of why I haven't been cooking outside um, you saw the ones where I cooked downstairs outside the garage and I was using the pellet smoker we're gonna be using the pellet smoker a lot more I'm just waiting on the weather to kind of clear up enough to where I can bring it up here and if I need to, leave it up here on the porch for a day or two before I take it back downstairs um, to the garage. So that's kind of what we're doing. Let's check out this uh, meat. All right, guys. The chicken has been on here for right at an hour, uh, maybe an hour and ten minutes. We're going to hit them with a little bit of parquet. We're going to flip them over, make sure they get good and done on both sides. All right. So there you go, they're all uh, flipped over. That's how we got our coals set up. Uh, just got some chunks sitting on top of the hot coals. And we're gonna flip it over. We're gonna let these go maybe about 20 minutes, maybe 30. And uh, we're gonna probe them. And then I'm gonna eat them. See y'all in a little bit. All right guys, so while we're waiting on this chicken to finish up, let me know down in the comments below, what's your favorite kind of chicken wing? Do you like the drumettes or do you like the flats? Me personally, I like the flats best, but when I stopped at the store on the way home today, the drumettes was all they had. So, oh well. Yeah, I didn't get this big being picky. <laughs> Alright, see you later. 
All right, guys, I'm losing light out here. Let's get some temps. These things are looking awesome. Let's run on the bone. Oh, yeah. We're definitely over 180. Let's find one of these big ones just to make sure. Oops, I'm dropping it. Yeah, 190. 188. Oh, sorry, you can't see. Yeah, we're we're definitely done. Mm, the color on these things are looking awesome. Hey guys, uh, shout out to Rich over at Rich's River Smokers, West Virginia. I think this is the first video that I've done since he uh, sent me this, uh, this Thermopop from Thermoworks. Um, I won a contest on his channel probably like a year ago, maybe, and that's when I kind of took a break from videoing. So shout out to Rich. Go check him out. His link's going to be down below to his channel. Um, he's doing a lot of competition cook, stuff like that right now. So check him out. Thanks again, Rich. I appreciate it. This little thing is awesome. Um, I use it all the time. This is just the first video that I've done where I've used it, I think. If not, well, you know. But thanks, man. I appreciate it. Let's go eat these things. All right, guys, I picked a few of them out here. I wish the camera would pick it up. The color on these things is amazing. Let's, uh, let's take a bite. So I've got one here. It smell good, that mesquite. Mm. Mm, they're hot. That's super good. I always clean my bones. It's rude not to. I mean, <laughs> some of y'all probably getting grossed out right now. And mesquite wood really, really, really put a lot of flavor into these. Um, of course, that Caribbean Q, you can get that little bit of kick from the um, Calypso. And then that chicken rub is always just really good. Mm. Mm. <laughs> so, I've never really used mesquite wood a whole lot. I've used it on beef a lot before but never really on chicken. It really, really puts some flavor on some chicken. That chicken really takes in that mesquite flavor. You can smell it off the rip. I mean, it's pretty good. The skin didn't get really crispy like I wanted, but the cook took longer than it probably should have. I got really impatient. And, um, well not really impatient, but I put the wings on there probably before the grill was up to temperature. So it took right at an hour and 50 minutes from right now. So I think if I'd waited, it probably would have only taken about an hour, maybe an hour and a half. And uh, it may have gotten that skin a little bit crispier. You can always throw it on the hot side and um, try to get a sear to render down some of that skin and the fat. But I like them just like this, no sauce, no nothing. Kind of like I used to like my ribs, um, just straight up chicken wings. But hey, that's it. Super easy, guys. Super simple. If you're ever, you know, just down after a long day of work and you want some good old smoked chicken wings, don't get discouraged. Come home after work, fire up the grill, fire up whatever you got, throw them on there. Chicken wings are super simple. You can't really mess them up. Throw whatever rub you want on them. If you want to, after they're done, toss them in some sauce um, and just enjoy Getting out there, grilling, smoking, doing whatever you do. I've enjoyed it. So, I appreciate you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, be sure to hit that thumbs up. Got a greasy thumb here. Um, let me know in the comments down below again. Do you like flats or drummies? Like I said, I'm a flats guy, but I'll take drummies. Be sure to hit the bell, guys, for uh, notifications on when I upload a video. I'm trying to get one out every week. So, that way you can come back and... See what other shenanigans that I get into. But 
Until next time, guys, y'all stick with me. We'll see what we can do. Thank you. God bless. See you guys.